I've just torn up my speech because a lot of people have covered points that I will talk to you about, but I will rephrase. I mean, number one issue, everybody, we know what that is, don't we? Drugs, alcohol, rehab, halfway houses. How many people live near a halfway house, near a drugs rehab? Yeah. Maybe you didn't know it was there, something happened, then you find out it's there. No one's against rehabilitation, but I'm sure you, a lot of you have feel, as I do, that at times we are the dumping ground in Boston, it seems to be. Mm -hmm. I was at Ramsgate last weekend, helping with a certain person's um, campaign, and uh, it's a seaside town, and they have the same problems, but not as bad as we do here, <coughs> nowhere near, and it's a bigger town, believe me, it's a bigger town. Um, our drug problems in Boscombe are quite unique because uh, the biggest uh, uh, percentage of uh, drug users is uh, they use um, <coughs> opiates. Now nationally, <coughs> the average is 26%. So that's telling you something. We really do have a serious problem with the drug addicts. We do have. Now, I'm all for rehabilitation. Everybody's going to have their share, but, you know, we need to work together with the independents and everybody to work together as a community to regulate this. We all deserve to know what is where and where it is and how many people. Where are the numbers for these places? Because nothing's published. If it was a huge roaring success and a huge cure rate, there would be publishing figures everywhere and boasting about it. The last published figure I heard of success rate was 3%. That's 97% failure. Now, this is around our schools, amongst our community. It's spread everywhere. Yeah. We've got to stop this. We have to stop this. I've lived here 18 <coughs> years in the last 30 years. I came here as 16 and three quarters after school and a bit of college. Boy, was it a different place then. This town was full of hotels. It was an amazing place. And now it's just bedsit land. We need, to, we need to change this. And what I'd like to see as well, we have phenomenal uh, talent in this town living, living amongst us. And I was involved in a project called Backeye. We wanted to create a, 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 a community workshop to teach everybody what we do amongst all our crafts with these fantastic people in this town. And perhaps we need to revisit that project because, again, that was just brushed aside. When the councillors were invited to an exhibition, they didn't even turn up. I think, in fact, we had one independent who turned up and he said, you're wasting your time, you won't get any money. But with the independents and everybody, you, need, you can change this. It's predominantly been a Tory council since 1941. If you want change, vote for it. Vote for all of these people. You can change it. Yeah.